Her did get healed. Uh, her foot actually grew a little. Uh, so that's another story. Dr. Price is a wonderful minister. Well, he teaches other people too, right? Uh -huh. Are you still doing some stuff for him? Uh, every week. Um, sounds like Christian media has kept you really busy. I have been so fortunate to have the opportunity to work with some incredible individuals who have been gracious enough to give me a chance to be a part of their really inspirational careers. So what are you working on currently? Well, voice work, mostly. Uh, I'm chairman of the board of directors of the Mid-American Parkinson Foundation. Uh, we just finished a fundraising gala called Rock Around the Block. Uh, that featured uh, the original, my original group, the Glassmen, the Fabulous Four, the Chessmen, Frank Plaza and the Silvertones, let's see here. Uh, oh, Gary Mack and the Mack Truck. Uh, <laughs> the five, really, probably the five most popular bands of the 60s locally. And we raised more than $60,000 for the Parkinson Foundation and KU Med Center School of Medicine. Uh, it was it was really great. I, I, uh, what else? Let's see. I became the voice of Fox News Channel in 1997, you know that Fox News Now, we report you to side station. Do you um, like Fox? Uh, oh, well, yeah. Tell me your honest yeah. thing. I actually do, and I have two friends that uh, Mike, uh, uh, oh, what's Mike's last name? Mike, Mike Jerick, who now co-hosts their show. Uh, and uh, one of the other fellows, I'm trying to remember his name, he was our weather guy. In fact, my, my niece was just hired by Fox to uh, be one of the um, uh, news anchors on uh, on their um, internet feed. Okay. On their website. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Um, okay. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about Michael Fox? M My Michael J. Fox. My oh, Michael J. Fox. Mm -hmm. Wonderful guy. Yeah. He's got, he's got Parkinson's uh -huh. like I have. Uh -huh. Um. You know, it's funny, I think there's probably nobody who has done more to increase the perception of what Parkinson's is internationally. And I know a few people who have responded less well to, uh, to treatment than Michael has. It's, it's, it's a horrible paradox, but it's true. Uh, um, I, pray, I prayed for him like six years. Like you, when that all started, and you know, I don't know Michael J. Fox, and I also called the foundation and I asked for anyone, anyone that did the um, uh, anything to make money for the foundation, and I asked them to be on my show, but they never got back to me. But I, I call them every year because I get their flyer. Right, my, Michael has because of his um, con condition and progression, he got. He was diagnosed uh, with young young Parkinson's, young onset is what they call it, and when he was uh, 27, which meant which meant he the onset began when he was in his teens, extremely uh, young age to get Parkinson's at. So he doesn't really tour very much because it's just not it's not possible physically for him to really do it. Um, this is the year 2007, and the number two means established and the number seven is spiritual perfection so i believe there will be a cure for parkinson's within the next three years um I, and i, I pray I, about I that, that you're right okay before we close isn't that your voice that i hear on kci yeah. at airport <laughs> it is my voice I, I do the voices for about no oh, about 130 major airports in america and that includes our own kansas city international airport where <clears throat> as i say Smoking is prohibited by Ordinance 53249. <laughs> okay, um, do you suppose that you could get together some of these men that were in your band? Well, sure. We, like I said, we just did a, a concert uh, uh, August the 24th at the new H&R Block Center downtown, so we're all still alive. <laughs> Would you be on my show once a month, or maybe once every two months? Well, let's talk about it. Okay, so we'll do that after the show. Now, I'd like to play a couple of your songs, and we're going to close here, and you will hear the wonderful voice of Drew Demo. Bye. Oh, and I paused it for a minute. Which tracks are Michelangelo and Julie? Let's see here. Uh, Michelangelo, I think, is six or seven. Okay. Check, check me in. And let's I went find to graduation. Out. And remember, okay. there's, a, there's a long, uh, about oh. five to seven 
second there. Uh, are we not hearing it? Oh. Of it. Take okay, that's six. All right, now which oh, which one's seven? Oh, you think Julie? Uh, oh, graduation seven. Graduation goodbye would be like nine or ten. Let's see. So six is Michelangelo. We're not hearing nothing. There it is. It's nine. All right, so we want six and nine. Now, wait a minute. I'm going to unpause, and I want you to say goodbye because I cut that part off, all right? Okay. So let me just say this is Lynn Brassfield, and now here is a classman and Michelangelo. This is Lynn Brassfield. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Do it. This is Lynn Brassfield. Uh, here's the classman. And this is Michelangelo. All right, come on, do it. We got some some uh, dead space in the. Boy, that is not loud at all. 